So, um, okay, my qualifications for responding to Craigslist ads are if they use correct pronunciation and correct capitalization. And that alone knocks out about 95% of the ads. So I responded to this ad that used correct, you know, grammar and he seemed nice enough and we exchanged a few emails and decided to meet at um, the Thirsty Scholar in Inman Square because I like the name of that place. And um, I was early, he was only like five minutes late and he shows up and immediately he starts in on this point system which is very bizarre. He kept saying like I would get a point for this or I would lose a point for that like um, oh, I, I gained a point for having dark hair um, so I said thank you for that point and I lost a point because I didn't like New York City and then I gained that point back because I put my ketchup on the side of the fries but you know it wasn't all that awkward we had a decent conversation it was a beautiful day and he had a dog oh I got a point because I had a dog and he said that um he, the whole conceit behind his ad was to play that video game Rock Band, which I had never played. So uh, I decided to go over to his house. I don't know why. Well, it was a beautiful day. And I took my dog. I went home and got my dog, and I went over to his house. And I somehow end up in his bedroom right away. I have no idea why. I think the dogs just went there. And so it, it wasn't creepy. I was just sitting in a chair. And I catch this golden sort of glint from my peripheral vision. And I look over and I see, not quite on display, but not quite not on display, what appears to be two Emmys. And so I wasn't going to say anything, but, you know, I, I have never seen an Emmy up close. So I say, um, are those two Emmys? And he says, yes. And he brings one over. And um, I remember one of her wings was, like, chipped off and he had it taped, scotch taped back on. And they were for, uh, he had done some sort of event coordination for some ESPN show, but it had his name. Anyhow, what, inside the sphere that Emmy was holding is, um, were at least three juggling balls. So I decided to sort of downplay the Emmy and, um, you know, play up the ability to juggle. So I said, oh, you juggle. And he said, yeah. Um, so then I said, well, aren't we going to play rock band? So we did. So we start playing and I suck at it. It's not even musical notes. It's just like this like lights that you have to click on and I started doing horrible and the crowd starts to boo me off the stage it was awful they start throwing things at me and my guy my drummer guy like threw down his sticks and walked off the stage and I was it was humiliating it was awful the guy was mad because you know it's this band like he created especially for him I can't remember the name of the band but I remember the guitarist was called Sugar Tits and then he said let's take a break and I said okay and meanwhile, my dog is eating his dog's bone, which I felt kind of bad about. So he comes and sits on the couch next to me, and I scoot over, and he makes his move and leans in. And I just kind of like did this hand gesture and said, yeah, no. And he made some kind of noise like, aww. And I said, let's, let's, let's sing another song for your band. And so we sang Creep um, by Radiohead. And there was so much more meaning to those lyrics. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. But I bet those Emmys are going to get him enough points to get laid at some point. <laughs>